Good morning crocheters and welcome to part two of my series on how to crochet. I'm Karen from Orbit Crochet. So today we're going to work on the single crochet. This is uh, the US terms, uh, the single crochet. Now we started last time, if you remember, with the slipknot and the foundation chain. And we're going to do that as a reminder and then go on to our single crochet. Again, I'm using a four millimeter hook and some double knit weight yarn. So to make our slip knot, we yarn over our finger once and twice, pull the second loop over the first loop, then the new second loop over the other one and straight off our finger. We pop in our hook and pull it up. So now we've got our slip knot. We yarn over, hook it and pull through to create a chain. So that's the first chain and over, pull through, over, pull through, over, pull through. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five on our hook. So that's 15 there. We've got a chain of 15. And as you can see there, you've got a couple of lumps and V shapes going on. And in these lumps and V shapes are what, where we will place our stitches. Now, usually on a foundation chain, we put the single crochet or the double crochet, whichever we're using, into these top loops here. This is so that if you have a pattern where you will be working into the bottom again, this bottom loop, as you see here, is then free to do that later on in the pattern. Okay, so unless your pattern says otherwise, we usually work in these top ones. Now, when we work on our second row, we usually turn, but this is not the second row, this is the foundation we're still working on that. So usually you would have one chain and then turn and it doesn't usually count as a stitch. I'll tell you a little bit more about that as we get to the end. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into the second chain from the hook. So not this one, but this one here, the one right by my thumb. We're going to just pop the hook straight in the top there. Can you see? Straight in the top. Then we're going to catch the yarn as though we've yarn over and we're going to pull through. So we have two loops on our hook. Then we're going to yarn over again and we're going to pull that yarn through both loops. And there we've made our first single crochet. Let's do that again into the next one. This is the next one. Now it can be deceiving and you might think that it's this bit here, but if you look carefully, our first crochet is already in that loop and that will naturally close up as you go on. So what we want is to go into this second bump here, this second stitch from our foundation chain, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Then we have our second one. So let's have a go again. We go in, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Go through into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. And we can do that all the way along to the end of our first row. Go in, grab the yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Go in, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two. Uh, 
and then the final one in here it doesn't look like a stitch but it is right there on the end can you see that little bit there that's still a stitch oops I missed it in we go yarn over pull up a loop yarn over again and pull through the last one Let me just pull up a bit of yarn so we don't lose it now there we've got our first row of single crochet now we can count these to see how many we've got you can either count the stitches at the top let me just point to that from the, with the hook so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen now depending on whether you're counting this or not uh, you might have 15 if it's in a row um, But in this case, uh, we're not counting it and it is 14 and that is exactly how many it should be because I chained 15 and because we skipped and then we made our first single crochet here, this then reduced the amount of stitches we have by one. And so this is 14 and if we hadn't had this, it would have been a chain of 15 if you remember so let's go and have a look at how we make the next row on from here so we finished with a row of 14 usually what we would do is we chain one and if you remember how to chain it's yarn over and pull through then we will turn okay just turn simply like that now, unless your pattern says otherwise, this doesn't usually count as a stitch. So, this little bit here, this stitch right here, we would have to go into. So, let's do that now. So, that's number one. And again, we continue. Now, this time, it's a little easier them doing into the foundation chain because you can see these little V's all along and these are your stitches it is very important that we go through the front loop and the back loop front loop and the back loop when we do this it gives us a stronger stitch and if we went in just the front or just the back we would end up with a, a ridge on one side or the other now unless the pattern says specifically it needs a ridge there and to do back loop or front loop we generally go straight through so straight through yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over pull through two insert the hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops right through and there we are single crochet insert the hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over again and pull through two and there we are we are crocheting oops there we go insert the hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two oops and again right at the end sometimes they're a little tricky on the very very end there and you should have the same amount of stitches so this is one side and this is oops the other side there we go now that's a single crochet next time we're going to be looking at the double crochet which gives us a taller stitch and we're going to continue it from here okay so until then keep practicing and happy crocheting